What up, fam? It's your boy G. Ridge. Okay, I'm back inside today. This is what's going down today, just like the title says. Homemade mushroom baked chicken legs. Yes, sir. Okay, so I have only like eight pieces of chicken legs here. So this is the amount of season you're going to uh, use for eight pieces of chicken legs, okay? Now, uh, the more chicken you add, the more seasons you're going to have to do. So you, you can kind of... You're going to have to add more seasons, so you're going to have to kind of add it up. If you got eight chicken legs, this is the amount you're going to use. I'd advise you to taste this one here. It's real good. It's real good. So it's going down. Let's get ready and get started. All right, so fam, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and um, we're going to cut the onions that's going in the bottom of the pan, okay? I might just do one half of an onion. Now what we're gonna do? We're not gonna put anything in the bottom of the of the uh, 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 the glass saucepan, okay? We're not gonna put anything but the onions. No juice, no oil, no nothing, because we're going to put the chicken on top of the onions, and it's gonna make its own sauce. We'll get to that part in a little bit. Yeah, yeah, that's about all I need, okay? Okay, fam, so I got my oven already presetting right now. We're going to preset it. We'll set for 350 degrees, okay? All right, here's my, I got my eight chicken legs right here, okay? Now, this is all you're going to need, fam. This is the one that's optional. I'm not going to put that much, but this is optional. Cayenne pepper, uh, Tones onion salt, and Lowry garlic pepper, okay? So we got only got a half of a tablespoon. This is one half of a tablespoon of cayenne pepper. We got one full tablespoon of the Tones onion salt. Yes, sir. And one teaspoon, one teaspoon of garlic pepper. Okay. All right. Dirty time. All right, fam. So we'll get ready and get dirty. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, lightly seasoned. Y'all know I season heavy. It'd be delicious, but we lightly season this here. Okay. That's all you need. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, y'all gonna love this here. Mm -mm. All right, we'll go ahead and place the chicken on top of the onions in the saucepan. Okay. <clears throat> Don't be afraid to sit them on top of each other, fam. It won't hurt nothing. Remember, we're baking these, okay? There you go. Voila. All right, so fam, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and cover this up. You're going to cook, you're going to bake this. Make sure you cover it. You don't have to use aluminum foil, but you can use whatever you want to cover it up, okay? You just like to use it. Mm-hmm. And especially if you don't have the matching top to go onto, onto the, um, the saucepan, okay? Yes, sir. Like so. As you can see, my oven is ready to go. 350 degrees. We're going in. Okay, so now while that's cooking, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and make our own, you know, our mushroom sauce to go on top of it. Okay. Now, when we put the, when we, when we go, with the only time you're going to put the mushroom salt on it is when it's 90% done. So you're going to be checking it periodically. Remember, we're not going to pull the sauce off this, okay? We're going to leave the sauce in there unless it's like it's too much. You can just pull half of it off. Make sure you keep that sauce like halfway filled up on the saucepan, okay? That way, when we pull it out and when we put the, um, when we create the sauce to go in there, okay, it won't overflow. Yes, sir. Okay, so 
when we take it, like I say, when it's 90% done, you're going to take it out. You're going to have this, this sauce, the mushroom sauce already made up, okay? You're going to pour it onto the chicken, okay? You're going to wrap it right back up, and you're going to put it back into the oven for like 15 more minutes. Then you're going to take it out, and you're going to, then you're going to take the foil off of it, and then you're going to put it back in there for another 15 to 20 minutes. That's when you're going to create the paste that go on top, okay? Hold on tight. I'll be right back. Okay, fam. So we're going to start out with one cup of water. I measure one cup of water, okay? And these are the ingredients you're going to need. I advise heavy whipping cream, okay? Use the heavy whipping cream. Grade A. Chicken bouillon. Yes, sir. And two-thirds of a cup of mushrooms. Yes, sir. I like the Bella mushrooms more, better than any one of them. Okay, so you're going to take this half a cup of the heavy whipping cream and you're going to add it to the water. Mm-hmm. Then you're going to put one tablespoon, one tablespoon of chicken bouillon in it. I'm going to throw it in there. It won't hurt nothing. I'm going to mix it up. Whisk it, whisk it right away. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Get it together, yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Keep stirring it. Mm-hmm. Okay, that should be sufficient. Okay, while that's cooking, while it's cooking, we're going to let that sit there until, you know, the like until the chicken get 90% done, okay? Okay, fam, we're going to check it out now. It was cooking for like an hour and ten. Oh, yeah. You see that? It was cooking for like an hour and ten minutes. An hour and ten minutes. Look at the juice in it. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and put the mushrooms in there first. Put the mushrooms in. Scared to get it down in there. Yes, sir. Okay, look at that, huh? All right, with the sauce that we made, okay? Yes, sir. Huh? I ain't playing with y'all, man. Yes. Yes, sir. Uh-huh. Get it all in there. All right. Look at that, huh? Now we're going to cover it back up and put it back in there for another, like, 20 minutes. It's, the whole process is going to take you, like, an hour and 45 minutes. Okay, fam? Stick with your boy, G. Rich. Hold on tight. We'll be right back. It's going back in. All right, fam. Let's see how it is. Yes, sir. I ain't playing. Oh, man. <laughs> Look at that, y'all. I'm proud of that there. See it? See what I'm saying? Yes, sir. It's good and seasoned. Look at that. Huh? Now, you can sit that over a bed of noodles or a bed of rice. Yes, sir. All right. Now, we're going to put it back in. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, that look good. Right before we put it in, now... We're going to sprinkle some parsley flakes on it, fam. Yes, sir. Get a little garnishment on that thing real quick. Get on in there. Told y'all, man. All right. We're going back in for another 20 minutes. Try to get it a little, little hardened and caramelized, okay? All right, fam, let's see what's going on. 
Yes, sir. I already knew it was going to be a thing of beauty. Oh. <laughs> there it is, fam. Mama, there goes that man. Look at that, fam. Yes, sir. That's a thing of beauty. Yes, fam. I'm proud of that. You see that? Everything is cooked real well. Look at that. Oh, my word. Mm -hmm. Now, see, this here, this can go on, like I said, a bed of noodles or a bed of rice. Wow, we fam. I am proud of this thing. You're going to like it. I taste the sauce. You're going to like it. It's absolutely perfect. The only thing that's optional is the cayenne pepper. Yes, yeah, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. I'm going to show you my finished plate. Okay, fam. Here's baby plate. Yes, sir. That's a thing of beauty. I told y'all. You're going to love this recipe, fam. Hey, man. I appreciate y'all. Thanks for the, all my old and my new subscribers. Yes, sir. Stick it with your boy, G. Rich. Love y'all to life. G. Rich out. In your mind.